alarming new details uh, of a man caught sneaking onto a flight. This happened over the weekend. He did not have a ticket for that flight. The FBI is joining the investigation, and the suspect is now sitting behind bars. Chris Van Cleve <laughs> is at the Phoenix Sky uh, Harbor Airport with more on this story. It broke just yesterday. I've been following it, Chris. Good morning. So how did this happen? Mm. Tony, good morning. This is an unusual one. The suspect, 26-year-old Wycliffe Florizard, according to court documents, uh, came to the airport in Salt Lake City on Sunday with a standby ticket, a buddy pass on Southwest. But that requires there to be an open seat on a flight to Texas. Well, he missed one flight because it was full. The next one was full. So what did he do? He allegedly decided to walk over to a Delta flight that was supposed to head to Austin. He is then allegedly seen on security camera video taking photos of people's boarding passes and then using one of those photos to scan on to board that flight. Now, according to the charging documents, one's on board the airplane to Austin. He hid in the bathroom during boarding, police say, and about the time they were going to close the door, came out, and he might have gotten away with all of this except for one small detail. That flight to Austin was already full. Every seat was taken. So flight attendants pretty quickly figured out that something was wrong. They were able to verify he wasn't supposed to be on that flight and didn't have a ticket for any Delta flight. So they turned that plane around on the ground. It taxied back to the gate. They called police. He's now facing a felony charge of a stowing away on an airplane. That could, take, that could send him to jail for up to five years if convicted. Delta says it is cooperating with the investigation. And the best tip for flyers here is to keep your boarding pass to yourself, Tony. Mm. Yeah, best tip for snowboarders as well is make sure you have a valid ticket. I don't know what that guy was thinking. Chris, wild story. Thank you very much.